Hi everybody, it's Janet Rockware from Moon Cusser Art. I'm going to show you how I corrected colors on this piece. I wasn't quite happy with how things were going, and this is my process on making those corrections, and I hope it helps you all. Okay, so day one. I had prepped my board. I painted it white. It's an MDF board that's cradled. And then I dry laid my fireplace glass in the design I wanted. I mixed up some resin and I wanted to go very transparent. I really wanted to let the glass kind of speak for itself. And filled it all in. The resin will hold all the glass on the board. I never had a problem with that. I then go and start adding on my lines. Now this color I picked, I didn't like. The minute I started pouring out on the cup, and I saw, boy, it's not very green, it's too blue for me. I also started to pour my gold lines, and the gold I had selected came out really yellow. So it was not what I was hoping for on this. But all my resin was mixed up, and I'm not one to waste it, so I went ahead and kept doing my rings and bands and building on this piece knowing that I can always come back and do some corrections. I'm going to do my green centers where I'm going to set my crystals. Sorry I did not film the setting of the crystals but I did just place them into those green puddles while maybe about an hour after the resin set up and it really holds them in tight blowing those bubbles with the heat gun and I'm all set for today. All right, so day two on the geode piece. I picked out a gold that I've used quite often. It's one of my favorite golds. It looks like liquid gold in a cup. I had to go wider on my bands in order to conceal that yellowy gold that I didn't like. And I'm also adding just a little bit of gold to the centers of the crystal points that I put in that dark green. It's going to cover up any of the green in those centers and it's going to help to anchor them into place just a little bit better. It won't give me any worries. So I just keep going back adding that on top and the gold is really looking good. Definitely a better combination with the greens that I want. Here I'm adding more gold around the yellowy gold bands. It's building up a bead line, and that's going to help me when I go back to make the correction over top of the glass because the glass is really kind of going flat, and that blue is just shining through, and I want to overcome that, but I'll have to do that in a little bit. So while those golds are setting up, I went ahead and mixed some more resin and colored it. It's a nice green. It's got an olive color to it, a little bit of metallic, and then I ring it with some white. So the resin is very fluid at this point, and that's important because what I'm doing now is I'm pouring those rings right up against each other. And when I go back and use the heat gun, it's going to allow those colors to kind of create effects and shift a little bit. They work well together. It adds more dimension to the pieces, and it just gives you a little bit of variation for whatever else is going on on your board. So still had some more of that green. I really liked it. And it was starting to get a little thicker, but that worked well because I could use it to make some thinner lines using a paper cup to make a spout and pouring that out, and if not, with the popsicle stick. Okay, day three. And we're moving along well. I decided I was going to tackle coloring the glass again, so I mixed up some more green, a little bit heavier in the color, and poured it over top. It's still transparent because I really want the glass to speak out of the piece for me. I'm happy with that. It covered up some of the blue, went right up to my gold dam, so I'm happy with that. I went back, tinted the resin even darker green, and filled in some of the puddle areas. And what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to lay in some glass seed beads. Now the seed beads I used on this one are metallic beads. The resin was still a little bit on the soft side 
and they drop in and f some will tumble around and they just add a little bit of sparkle in a transparent resin. All right, day four, final day. Only have a little bit more to put resin on. I'm gonna use that same gold, filling them in. I mix the resin up and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. That let it get a little on the thick side and I, using my popsicle stick, I could really control where I place those golds. I went all around the board, found all the spots and finally mixed up one more batch of resin in a small cup dumped a bunch of glitter in there and I poured a couple of rings over top of those large gold bands around the center greens. It just created another dimension. After everything was all cured the next day I added in my detail lines and now I'm very satisfied with how it all turned out. Thanks for watching!